Ultra van Laar! The Utrecht firm are hardcore, and when opposition firms come to visit, there are incidents of extreme violence. There was a train coming to Utrecht, train with Feyenoord, Feyenoord hooligans, shouting at us, uh, calling us names. But we are standing there near the rail track. We have bottles, bottles filled with petrol and oil. Uh, the best mixture to keep it burning. So they come by and I saw them, the fuckers, with all the long hairs in the neck. Dirty. Still, sometimes I heard them shout, ah, oh. fuckers, yeah, because why? The train was burning and the train was burning into the rail station. Fine not? Fuck you all. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what I got to say, you know. No more, no, no, no less. less. The roof. The roof's on fire. We are in the mother and the fucking mother bird. Boom, motherfucker. Boom. Danny has arranged to meet Bobby, who is going to introduce him to the firm. Bobby is one of Utrecht's ex hooligans. And he is now the president of the Supporters Club. Incredibly, he has a dialogue with the football club's board. Utrecht has got the biggest supporters home in Europe, and Bobby's going to show Danny around. Quite an English feel to it. Why, yes. Why is that? Because we uh, think uh, Utrecht is a typical of uh, English uh, football club. Okay. And we, we like to have the same idea as the English uh, <laughs> yeah, I love firms. You've got to know. Dick's in a dark green up there, that's yeah. quite mad. Dark green. You've got a, a nice West Ham scarf, that's the best thing you've got. You've got an old Man United scarf up there, and I'll, I'll help you take that down later. <laughs> um, Tetley's bitter, I mean, oh, this, this, is, this is, I love it, yeah. This, yes. I've never seen nothing like this. Chandeliers going on, it's really, it's classy, you know what I mean? You've got the ground just there, the pitch yes. just there, you know? It's, it's, uh, it's very, uh, uh, I mean, that's, that's pretty amazing. It's very unique in Holland. OK, I will show you the court. Oh, I love it. This is uh, the, our Bunnik side. This is the famous side of uh, here it started the football violence. Your firm will be plotted here, yeah? Yes. And all the families around here? That's the main tribune, the family tribune, and the. The way supporters? Uh, yes. The way supporters. Wow, it's just amazing that you've got the supporters club right there. Yes. You know, it's. Um, so you're not, you know, you, you're a firm, but at the same time, you've been allowed that place in this club. I think that's quite amazing. There's a reason for that. Obviously, you've got a, a certain amount of trust with, with the club, yes? Yes. Tell me a bit about your role as the president. Yes, now, I'm, uh, I'm uh, the president for now for uh, maybe uh, two and a half years. I represent 6,000 supporters okay. and, uh, and maybe two to 300 um, hooligans. Because okay. I was a former hooligan. I was... Uh, as fanatic as, as the other guys and I can talk with anyone and that's why the older guys ask me if I want to do this. Do okay, so you can question. deal with the, the, the hardcore hooligans and you can also deal with you know the sensible people yes. at the same time. Yes, I also have to talk with the club, with the football club. Oh yeah, okay. No, I, I already do that. See, that's a good thing. See, we don't come across that very often, you know. No. You have a one thing, you know, you can't really flitter between both. I'm very impressed about that. It's time to meet some of the hardcore hooligans. These boys will take on anyone. They are known as the Bunnock side and are infamous for using weapons. Danny's a bit apprehensive, so he's having a few beers to help settle his nerves. Thank you very much. First of all, I'm going to ask cheers. you the obvious question. Cheers, mate. Cheers, cheers. mate. Cheers. 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 Who are, <laughs> <Chelsea>. <laughs> Who are the Bannock side? <laughs> what? It all started in the early 70s. We were all standing on this side of the stadium called the Bunnick side. Bunnick is a town, little town, behind the stand, and that's where the name comes from. Now, in, in 1980, uh, I heard that you smashed up your own stadium. <laughs> Why? It was the last match of the season. Uh, the stadium should be 
demolished by, uh, for the new stadium. So we thought, well, let's do it ourselves. And, uh, and we did. These guys actually tore down their old stadium as a new one was going to be built. It needed to be demolished and the boys clearly thought they were the best people for the job. We thought, well, it's normal. It's normal behaviour. Yeah, it's going to be uh, teared apart. Let's do it ourselves. But it's been on television for weeks. It went all over the world. For years after, when you went on holidays abroad, you were saying, oh, I'm from Utrecht. Oh, you did out the stadium. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, get on the point with that, look. Let's see it. Well, here you have yeah, a this picture is of one it. of the... Here you see the boys in action. Would you say hooliganism in Holland is becoming more dangerous? The danger lies in the fact that it's not more, it's not more possible to have an all-out fight. So if you want to do some damage to someone else, you have to do it fast and you have to use something to get a result. So that makes it more dangerous, more dangerous than it used to be because almost everybody now uses weapons and especially knives. What about, um, what about you, Zlot? Do you use weapons or sometimes you have to, yeah? We were famous for using Jinking. bicycle chains. <laughs> Jinking. Okay. And the uh, uh, bats, knives, Stanley knives, okay. anything that can be used, yeah. bottles. Okay. What about um, any of you ever been to prison? Anyone been, yeah? I've been sitting for three months. Three months? Yeah. Just for uh, fighting? Fighting against Ajax. Against Ajax. Sure. With bicycle chains or? He also. Yeah. The Perrier. But there were also Ajax supporters in the prison. Ah. And okay. they don't uh, want to fight with us in the prison. No. 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 <laughs> Not when you've got him sitting next to you. Know what I mean? <laughs> Not when you've got him sitting next to you. A proper mad boat, you know what I mean? It can definitely have a tear up. There's no two ways about that. Prison fines and banning orders are the price to pay as a hooligan. They explain how the police keep an eye on them. Theo shows us the security around the ground. He has been in the firm for 25 years, has been banned twice, and has served prison time for football violence. Uh, there's a security box. Uh, they, uh, they control the whole stadium uh, with the cameras, uh, everywhere hangs cameras. Uh, in, the, in the stadium uh, sit police, but also a security from the Utrecht, uh, uh, undercover uh, police officers. They may be a friend of you, you don't know. The surveillance is not just in the stadium. The police are also able to track them inside their supporters' home. They listen, you know, they follow the boys, and the boys now in jail. The authorities had shut down the supporters' home, but then reopened it. They realised it was easier to keep an eye on the firm if they knew where they were. En dan kan je al die veilige banen leiden. Dat vind ik ook geen gek standpunt. En in Nederland heeft het vrij lang redelijk goed gewerkt. We still open because they know when we close, uh, 1,500 boys came outside and then you have more problems than, than now. Danny has seen how the hooligans are integrated into the clubs and so he's realised how hard it is to get rid of them. Despite tough new policing measures, hooliganism is not going away in Holland. I'm going to blow this up. Blah, 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 blow this up. Massive explosion. Bang! 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 And kaboom. Massive explosion. Detonation. <laughs> de 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 detonation. Blah, 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 blow this up. And kaboom. Detonation. Crikey. Massive explosion. <laughs> Mark Williams, Big Bangs. Zaterdagavond om 8 uur op Discovery Channel. Danny's in Holland to discover about the problems of football hooliganism and how the authorities are dealing with it. Suspected hooligans have their pictures put on the internet and on a television show where viewers are encouraged to turn them in. Crazy. It's a crazy country. Are you talking about a liberal country? No fucking way. This is a police state. They feel like they're being treated a lot worse than they deserve. 